in the workplace as a journalist, there is levels of harassment that you wouldn't even understand. You know, um, we start with even just the way female journalists are told, you know, in the morning when you start work, you have what we call a diary session. And uh, the editor in chief will sort of sit there and discuss what the stories are for the day. Everyone will say, I'm covering this, I'm covering that. Then you'll find that the editor will assign the softer issues, right? So let's say, um, I always think politically. So let's say that um, the Minister of Women's Affairs is uh, launching a new book, okay, that was released by a woman. She'll assign that to a female journalist. And then if the president is um, welcoming the president of Tanzania to Zimbabwe, that automatically goes to a male journalist, okay? Um, and uh, you know, you'll find that there's that level already in the workplace where do we call it harassment, right? What, what do we call it discrimination, right? It was all about terminology. But then as a woman, what do you report that as? Do you just say it's unfair? Does it become gender bias? Um, so there's so many tears there, um, which are, you know, before we even go to the internet, because I know once we get there, that's a whole other can that we're opening. But I like how we're defining first the workplace terms. And, um, you know, whether that's just in journalism or any other sector, I know that the, the, the female aspect comes in a lot. The gender aspect comes in a lot. I know many people might be able to identify from different spheres. 